join me for celebrity chat at mtv.co.uk where my guest today is MTV's maverick star Mike Strutter. Listen, I really think we should call an ambulance. Yes, it's a night of celebrity chat and popular music with your host, Tony Jackal. Good evening. Cocksuckers, fuckfaces, motherfuckers and dick munchers. Just a few of my first guests, many now legendary catchphrases. He's the self-proclaimed messiah of MTV and the first series of his show Strutter has sent shockwaves across Europe. He's a rule breaker and a risk taker, a record breaker and a drug taker. I am of course talking about Mike Strutter. But before we meet him, let's find out what all the fuss is about. Hey you, where the fuck are you? What's going on? My name's Mike Strutter. You wanna see someone get hit real fucking bad? Oh yeah! How do you stop someone's nose from bleeding? Simple, stop punching it. Fuck up. Woo! Yeah! What a fucking eclipse! Fucked up stay with a fucking head so fucked up. The next course is a Chateau Brianna shitheads. Ooh, not bad. Get the fuck out of my face. That felt good. That felt real fucking good. Woo-hoo-hoo. I'm gonna get high. <laughs> I'm delighted to welcome Mike Strutter. You motherfucker! <laughs> This guy. <laughs> I thought I was gonna fucking bust his head. I'm just busting your balls. How are you? Good How to you see doing? you. Good to see, see you. you. Good to see you. Good to be here. Good to see you, Mike. Great. Uh, Thank thanks you. for coming on to the show. Thanks for having me. So, the Messiah of MTV, that's quite some claim, Mike. Well, yeah, I mean, you know the M yeah. in MTV? Uh-huh. It now stands for Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fucking joke. It's now Mike Television. They rebranded the fucking channel after me. You fucking believe that? Well, that's incredible. So you are literally MTV. I would like to take this opportunity to let people know that now I'm in charge all the no good, cheap, bullshit fucking programming that they've been fucking sticking out for 20 fucking years will not be affected in any way. It will not be affected. Well, that sounds probably uh, a little bit harsh there, Mike. <laughs> what do you mean, harsh? <laughs> let me one fucking good show apart from mine. Ah, uh, there's, um... Give my ride. Dirty Sanchez. Jackass? Jackass. Very good. Jackass is for fucking pussies, right? Am I right? It's for fucking pussies. Now, Mike, Series 1 did cause quite a lot of controversy because of the strong language, the glorifying in extreme violence, and the reveling in human misfortune. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Now, I appreciate that. are you prepared for the inevitable backlash from the media? The Swedish press has been pulled by the show. Sweden? Mm-hmm. You can say the word Sweden with a straight face, can you? <laughs> Why do we tolerate that fucking joint? What are they fucking done? What the fuck are they done? Well, to be fair, they did give us the rather lovely Ulrika Johnson. <laughs> I'd rather fuck a penguin, you know, because at least there's a good chance that Sven Goran Eriksson hasn't fucking been there first. <laughs> <laughs> so I gather then, Mike, that celebrities can expect a rough ride from the new series too. Oh yes, you can bet your sweaty balls on that, Tony, your sweaty fucking balls. <laughs> fuck me, your balls are fucking sweaty. Now this cutesy-faced little prick is Jude Law. Now, look at him. He thinks he's God's gift, don't he? This flash fuck stinks of state schools and pushy parents. It's just a pity they didn't push him onto a fucking truck. This pig-faced fucking phony is Jess Stone. This broad is fat waiting to happen. Trust me, she's that big bone type. She's gonna be a fucking porker. In a few years' time, she won't be Jess Stone. She'll be 30 fucking stone. Now, I don't get all the fuss about this little fuck. He looks like a fucking monkey. Look at his stupid monkey face. You can imagine him sat on top of a barrel organ in a little fucking waistcoat. Him gnashing on Angelina Suki's is such a fucking waste. He'd be just as happy if you tossed him a fucking banana. Now, Mike, you've been very outspoken with your attacks on celebrities. Are there any celebrities that you actually like? Oh, sure. I'm a big fan of Pussycat Dolls. I see them as a kind of muff buffet, a flange smorgasbord, if you will. And you like their music? I wouldn't know, you know, I turn the sound down when I fucking jerk off them. (laughs) 
Now, after featuring heavily in commercials across the first series, I gather your own brand product line, Stratagear, is having a record year. Oh, sure. We had a terrific year, Tony. We had a terrific year. I mean, shitloads of green queens off series one, but it's all quality merchandise, you know, so everyone's fucking happy. Now, I understand that one of the biggest sellers was the Stratagear porn mower, which, okay. uh, ladies and gentlemen, is a lawn mower that uh, has a DVD screen fitted to it, so you can actually watch um, dirty films whilst you're mowing the lawn. At the last count, Tony, I've got to tell you, we, 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 we sold just shy of 200,000 poor mowers. Wow. 200,000. That's, uh, that's a lot of lawns getting cut, Mike. And a lot of cucks getting tugged. Don't forget that, Tony. Now, Mike, are there any new Stratagear products being presented in the new series? Yes, there are. Yes, there are, Tony. And all Stratagear goods come with their own unique customer guarantee. Which is? Which is that if you're not completely satisfied, you can go fuck your mother. The feds will have your ass in the fucking can if you're caught on the streets with an offensive weapon. So far, they've banned knives and handguns. But the one thing these killjoy cuck suckers haven't thought of banning yet is dark shit. Hey! <laughs> so fucking sue me! <laughs> Oh, fuck. So here's the question. How the fuck do you chuck chunks of shit like that without getting up to your knuckles and fucking chum? Simple. The Stratagear shit stick. This unique streamlined aluminium tie tosser comes complete with an easy grip handle and a plastic scoop for picking up lumps of fucking shit. The stick fits snugly into any bag and is real easy to store. Under the bed. On top of the wardrobe or just lying around in the garden next to a fucking wall or something. Now, I gather there's a new game show section in the new series, uh, which is just like the classic Play Your Cards Right. Tell us about that, Mike. What do you mean? You're making it sound like I fucking stole the concept. Oh, no, no, you no. Watch no. your fucking mouth, tough guy. No, it's just you that... Watch it's... your fucking mouth. It's called... Uh... It's called Play Your Cock Suckers Right, OK? It's a completely different concept. Well, you've got to admit, that is quite similar. I don't see it. <laughs> well, you've just replaced cards with cocksuckers. That's right, just like I can replace spleen with fucking ruptured spleen. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. No, we, uh, we don't have to go there. I don't mind going there. I don't mind going there. OK, it's time to play. Play your cocksuckers way. Right. Thank you, first cocksucker. Here it is. That's a good card. Everyone loves this guy, but he's clearly a cocksucker. So, for 1,000 Gs, a bigger or lesser cocksucker than Jarvis Cocksucker. Come on, help him out a little bit. Bigger? Bigger? Yes, okay, so enough! Yeah, I'm gonna go bigger a cocksucker. A bigger cocksucker for 1,000 pounds. Yes! A much, much bigger fucking cocksucker. A pointless cocksucker. It's Callum Best. The first series, in your own words, was all about the two Cs, clips and cocksuckers. That's is right. that still the case? Yes, Tony, it is. Uh, we got plenty of clips, therefore, uh, hence, ergo, a fucking shitload of fucking cocksuckers to go with it. Mm -hmm. But uh, we also got folk coming into the studio this time, you know? We got serious fucking guests. Oh, right. Serious fucking guests. That sounds really good. Tell us more about that. No. Show a fucking clip, because I need to take a piss. <laughs> you ever wonder what happens when a guest needs a fucking piss on a chat show? This fucking happens. Oh. oh, yeah, that's the one. I've got to say, that, that's disappointing. You showed the fucking clip yet? Shut your fucking mouth. That, that's, that's really disappointing. Mm. Oh. Oh. Now, I've been accused of not having enough culture on the show, so tonight I've got a couple of toughs who are going to teach us a little bit about wine. Well, personally, I find this the best way to taste. Yeah, it's not fucking bad. Uh, maybe you just don't have a particularly <laughs> sophisticated palate. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait a moment. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of hickory. Or is it oak? Really? Oh, I'm not getting any wood on the nose. You are now, cocksucker. Ooh. Give me! Yeah. 
Bill Michael. It's been great having you on the show. Thanks for coming on and speaking so openly and frankly to us. It's my pleasure. You know, when I first saw you, I thought you looked like a sanctimonious, big-nosed fucking prick. OK. I'd have to teach you some fucking manners, but you've been OK. Thank you very much. Mike Strutter, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. How about that? Thank you. Ooh. How Thank about you. that? And so, my main guest tonight is fast becoming a music legend. Hey! the fuck do you mean Mingus? With his band Coldplay, he's been responsible for over 10 on? million global well, record sales. I and I, for one, well, am a huge I'm fan of his very show. inspiring music. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, sake. please welcome the wonderful Chris Martin! Yeah. Fucking warm up for this fucking shit kick. Hey! Motherfucker! Cuck sucker! Fucking break up my p***! Fucking motherfucker! Fucking cuck sucker! Hey, you gotta rush your blood to the fucking nose. <laughs> okay, we got some more time here, Tony. Shoot, bing, bo, bo, let's go. Let's go. Let's go.